Right everybody, this is the Sebart Sukhoi 2.9, 2.2 meter wingspan. It has got all digital servos in it. Um, they are high tech 7954SH. You can actually see that or not. Yeah. Carbon fibre custom made. There's a metal one underneath the Fatal one, the I take one, like you know, steel one, and then on top I've made this uh, carbon fibre one to make it a bit more more rudder. Um, AR9110 supplied by uh, Lipos, Turgis, 12. So you've got 7.4 volts to all your servos. Jubro tank. Uh, that's your choke. That one there. I can film it and do it. You just you just pull it out. That's on. That's off. It's easy. Uh, you've got a big C battery there. And then you've got your DA60 there. Which is mounted on these superb rubber blocks. Sorry, like, like wooden blocks. All that's all epoxied in. So that's your DA60. It's brand new. It's had about 10 minutes run time, probably probably less. Five minutes in air, three or four minutes on ground. Um, it's already been weighted the plane. I put I've painted all this. I've weighted this for uh, CAG, so that's all spot on. And we've got those little, we've got some little fins down there. If you can see in the red fins, they direct um, cold air, sort of coming in here um, onto your, onto your, uh, onto your head and whatnot. So yeah, this engine is not even a year old. It's probably about eight month old. So I should, and it's under guarantee with Kingsley models. Uh, it's all been painted with this, um, you know, lacquery stuff, so it protects it against fuel. You've got four satellites in there. I don't know if you can see that one or not. Wait a minute. Anyway, there's one down there. There's one there. There's one just down there. And they all point obviously different ways to give you better reception and signals and whatnot. Carbon fibre Belila spinner. Uh, 23.8 that is. And carbon fibre nose. It's absolutely mint this plane. Built it very, very meticulously. That's why I'm doing this video so you can see it for yourself. I've even put a piece of stick, a piece of bolster down here, look, so that the wires to the um, elevators is all nice and tidy and nowhere near those uh, pull pull system links. They've all been done properly as well with the uh, proper, you know, loop system job. Um, and that's pretty much it really. I mean our Ventum basically that uh, that stops in all the time, that's your fill and then this one underneath you, you run with it out, that's your air vent which goes up round the side of your tank and all this lot so it, it prevents air going out and fuel leaking. By the way it's freezing today, not quite the summer when I filmed it last time, this is the top and then basically I'm just going to put this down if I can somehow um, don't know if I can do this whilst filming I'm going to put that you can see that there yeah, a little bit this is the top what it does it slides forward so it's forward of the main fuzz press it down and just snap it back yeah and then she's on two little screws hold this in We'll start this up, but it's going to be very briefly because they're not fastened in properly. 
uh, transmitter. Okay. Yep, working, working kill switch. I always stick kill switches so you can see they look working. Red light. Actually, green. That's strange. But it's red in real life. Um, that's so that we can kill it, not just by linkages, but also by a proper kill switch. You can see that's the plane. So I'm going to try and put this down now and start it, but it's not starting for long because. I'm not fastening that canopy on properly and I'm freezing. So I'll put a little bit of chat on, just a gnats. We're lit up, we're all good to go. Oh, I'll put my glove under the camcorder. kill by that switch I presume you already used those but there you go just in case you don't and that's pretty much it it's absolutely mint there's no marks on it at all so one flight like I said three minutes trimmed it up even wings have been weighted from left to right so there's not not to worry about it's weighted front to back CG is correct and it flies beautiful for what bit I flew it because it was just about as well, it got, went really grey and I thought it was going to start raining so I brought it down greased it, it was an absolute greaser, dead easy to fly but I think it's time for it to go, I'm just not going to fly it it's been set in the garage, looks like this in the garage laughing at me <laughs> there you go it's a beautiful plane